In today's video, we've got several different liquids that we're going to put into a centrifuge and spin around at several thousand RPM. This is a centrifuge. It's a fancy, nifty little machine that is designed to spin really, really fast. So this whole thing right here is what spins. There's a motor that drives it, and it's very precisely balanced. And these cases slide out with our little glass tubes and tubes. Uh, and then once you close it, you set a time and a speed, and it just starts spinning. What's interesting about it is what happens to a lot of different liquids when they get spun. The effect is really one of increased gravitational pull, meaning anything more dense has a tendency to settle out of a liquid down at the bottom. Anything less dense should rise to the top of our little glass vials. So we have a lot of different things we want to test it on and see what happens when they get spinning. Here's the basic idea. We have a centrifuge, a machine that spins extremely rapidly. We're going to fill it with several types of juice, milk, clay water, and paint to see what happens to each of those substances. So over here, we've got a few different types of juice. Uh, I wanted to see the difference between no pulp and some pulp orange juice. Oh, good. We've got some raspberry lemonade, and you can see some stuff floating around in it. I'm not sure if that's going to end up being more or less dense than the watery juice content. And we've got some V8 fusion, which I've always thought was interesting. Like, as you tip this, you can see the liquid swirl around quite a bit. I want to see if it separates. I think that milk will separate. You always hear about, you know, milk fats and stuff rising to the top, but usually it's gonna be with uh, whole unpasteurized milk. Can't really get unpasteurized milk. Uh, we don't have access to a cow. Uh, so we've got everything else. You looks like you've got non-fat, whole milk, heavy whipping yeah, cream. Yeah, got, we've got non-fat, 2%, whole, half and half, and then heavy cream. So we're just like increasing the fat content. Okay. And along with that, we've also got some Nesquik, which I enjoy, but I have noticed that if you like stir up a cup of Nesquik and then let it sit for a bit, it, something does settle out. So I want to see how much it settles out and how much stays truly dissolved in the milk. I like it. And then this was one that you suggested. I brought some of my modeling paints. They're already pretty separated as it is. You have to mix these up a lot to get the color to show. Otherwise, you can just see that something settles down at the bottom. Yep, and then I've just got what looks like a lacquer enamel at the top. Along with that, I also have, uh, this is just some ceramic clay okay. that has been that has not been fired, is unfired, uh, and I just, it was dried out, and I just ground it up, so I now have some clay dust, and we'll mix some water into this, and see how well that separates out in the centrifuge as well. Since we can do six things at a time, yep. let's do maybe two of each of these. It is best to keep this perfectly balanced so it doesn't break. It's best to have the same amount of the same substance in vials across from each other. So it doesn't matter if they're all weighing exactly the same, but like any two vials across from each other should weigh the same. Okay. Now we can uh, close this. Now we can choose how long, what do you think? Should we start with five minutes? Let's start with five minutes. All right, we're gonna start with five minutes. Looking in, we do have this tiny little window here. You'll be able to see it start spinning up. And, should be good. I think it broke. Is that what happened? I think it cracked the glass. Yeah, this one, the, uh, yeah, the glass the actually here. broke off of the vial and, Interesting. So I'm going to say we had a flaw in the glass. Yeah. Wow. Mm, breakfast of champions right there. <laughs> well, we'll make sure we uh, rinse that out real nice. I don't think any of the other, other ones one. broke. No. So we, I think we heard that. It just made like a thunk. Huh. But there we go. We've got this nice clear pink liquid and a lot of something. Lemon and raspberry leftovers would be my guess. All right, so we've extracted the, the non-solid part here. Tastes like raspberry lemonade. It's yes. just lemon pulp. OK. 
Okay. It's actually fairly low on flavor. Interesting. Pretty similar results in these two, and they should be. They're the same thing. Look, mm, we found pulp or something. Or something. We found we found something. We found a thing. But I, here, let's let's each get one of the uh, the high pulps yes. as well. Okay. And we can do a side by side. Wait. Wait. There's not a lot of difference in pulp there, you know. How's your extract of orange? It's good. Orangey. I've that never was the low. Drank anything out of a centrifuge. Low flavor again. Just, Ew, it's squishy. Just fibery pulp. Yeah. Do not recommend. Two out of ten. <laughs> Just broke. We just heard what I believe was the sound of a vial cracking. So I'm interested to see if it was number three. Uh, and if it was, then I'll, I think I'll know what to look for in the future in, in the, the vial being suspended by the lip rather than resting against the point. While that's going, I'm just gonna add some water to our clay dust here and make some clay water. I am just gonna let this sit for the next you know, as long as this is running, before we pour that in, it's, it's gonna sit. Settling. Yeah, we'll see how much does settle out, and then we'll just pour off some of the stuff that hasn't settled out. We're not gonna try and like intentionally add solid clay into this, but I don't think it's all gonna settle out. I think we're still gonna have very clay-filled water, and then we'll see how much settles when it spins. I like it. It broke on. Sure. And, and broken. But number three, the one I was worried about, is fine. So here we have mostly just juice. For the most part, it hasn't changed a lot. But down here at the bottom, we have a little bit of what? very concentrated powder, solids of some kind. Yeah. So some stuff in this juice, it's the heaviest stuff, or nearly the heaviest stuff, and it's white. All right, we're gonna do this one for 10 minutes just to try and give our milk a little more opportunity to separate. And here we go, hopefully we don't break them all. This time we heard three of them crack, uh, which is, you know, not ideal. Like down here right at the bottom, mm -hmm. so if I have it right there, can you see how there's like a yes. layer of clear yes. and then it goes back to like a white solid. This is a heavy cream. Okay. Oh, yeah, this has there we go. radically different separation. This is a half and half again. Pretty similar result, a three millimeter layer, most of the same, and then a thin stripe down here at the bottom. So if I poke through that fat layer, there's that liquid underneath. We made butter is what's happened here. This is, we've made, we've made butter. And then our <laughs> non-fat, which is just nothing. As, as I took it out, like, it's shaking around. The other ones didn't shake because mm -hmm. they had that layer of fat at the top that had sort of congealed and stopped. It does still have something down here at the bottom, which we can see as a different texture, consistency, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call that. But uh, when it says non-fat, you know, I'm not seeing any, they mean it. any fat in it. Okie dokie. Oh boy, yeah, you can wow. you can see that separating yes. line right there. So that's all of what settles down. You get the same, oh wow, yours is even <laughs> more. Yours is just like clear. That's so cool. So our paint absolutely separates out. There was a lot of, like that separated out very, oh. Ooh, very neat. strongly. Watch, you can watch me scrape through the gold here. Ooh. That worked much better than I thought it would. Look at that. Look how much came out of the chocolate milk. That was just milk and chocolate. In fact, we also just got a little bit of uh, cream right up here at the top. Good. Not a lot, but a little bit of milk fat. I'm gonna try it. It's a little warm. The machine warms up somewhat. That actually has more flavor than I thought it would. Nice. I thought it would just be like milk, but there's definitely still some flavor in it. It's not particularly chocolatey, but it doesn't just taste like milk.
Not a lot of flavor there. It has a cocoa flavor, not a good chocolatey flavor. Like it doesn't taste like it has like cream and sugar added. It just tastes like cocoa. That separates a lot. So Nesquik really doesn't dissolve into milk. I'm guessing that some sugar dissolves into milk, a little bit of the flavor, but the, the cocoa, it gets suspended in the milk and you can drink it while in suspension, but it, it comes out a lot. Ooh, look at our clay water. Look how nicely wow. that separated out. That did great. If we compare it to just our cup, which don't it's get me wrong, settled. there's separation, but we only took from up here where it had already had the biggest particulate settle out. But look how well that cleaned up. There's a little bit of cloudiness, and then we've got like layers of clay down here at the bottom. I, we've got like the one dark spot right there, and then just different layers of thicknesses, of density of clay that's formed in there. That pulled a lot out. I'm really very cool. impressed at the result of that. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that button so you're subscribed and you never miss out on the fun. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.